So basically here is a Tupperware bin glued to a five gallon bucket with a hole in it. This is completely airtight except for this one hole. I'm gonna show how it won't make a whirlpool unless there's air getting in there. So I'm gonna fill this thing up. Okay, so I filled this thing up with some water. Now I'm gonna show when I remove this, we're just gonna get a bunch of big bubbles out of there. It's gonna try to make a whirlpool, but if I insert a straw, it's now gonna start using that as a snorkel, and now it can drain really fast. All the air is escaping from that little hole, but if I plug it, the big bubbles start again. Now it can go really fast. I'm gonna remove this. As soon as the water gets down a certain ways, it's gonna try to make a whirlpool. Maybe I can actually get that going now. I think it's a little bit too deep for that. Let's see what changes when I drill a hole in the side of this bucket. Hole all the way through, as soon as I made the hole, a whirlpool started because air is able to get out of the bottom. Before, when the bottom was airtight, it just goes blop, 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 unless I put the snorkel in there when I was using the straw. But now this is working out very nicely, as you can see. Now that I added that, you can really see the whirlpool against the blue background. And now it's leaking out of the hole. The bucket is now filled up. You see how much water is actually going down that hole now? That is a lot of water, but just a small whirlpool. Plug that hole. Move the hole there so that I have room to put an underwater camera here looking at the whirlpool. 